Aloha, preschool. <laughs> Miss Holoka here. So, uh, we talked about Christmas. We talked about uh, Eid and Ramadan. Uh, so we have uh, Christmas is a Christian holiday. Eid and Ramadan are Muslim holidays. And I wanted to talk a little bit about Jewish holidays. So people who are Jewish celebrate a holiday during December called Hanukkah. And it lasts for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nights. Isn't that cool? And um, it's about a time, a long, 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 long time ago, uh, where uh, they didn't have electricity. They couldn't just turn on a light. They had to use oil lamps. They had to put oil in a lamp and light the lamp uh, so they could get light. Well, um, in their temple, they were running out of oil. They didn't have enough oil to last. and um, But a miracle happened, and the, the, um, the lamp was lit for eight nights. So that's why they celebrate eight nights. And to celebrate, they uh, eat a lot of foods uh, fried in oil, like latke, potato pancakes. Oh. You take some egg and um, some crackers and uh, some shredded potato and you make little pancakes and you fry them in oil and you eat them with applesauce and sour cream which is so yummy. And every night they say a prayer and they light the menorah. Now, my menorah is at school. I should I should have brought it home. But I do I drew a picture of one. Um so look, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 spots for candles because it lasts eight nights. And there's a tall one in the middle called the Shamish. And they use that one. They pick up that one. They light that one first, and they use that one to light all the other ones. So I only have one candle lit because today is the first day of Hanukkah. And Hanukkah, the same thing. They, they have a big dinners, and family comes over. They play games. They have presents. Just like Eid and Christmas, right? And I wanted to read you um, a Jewish story. Uh, these are two stories, actually, and they're similar. Just like I like to do, I, I like to read two stories that are kind of the same, kind of different. And um, the first story is called Something from Nothing uh, by Phoebe Gilman. She wrote the words uh, and uh, drew the pictures. It's an old, old story. And as you could see, the grandpa, he, he wears a, a special hat called a yarmulke. Um in Muslim culture, the men wear a hat called a kufi, the women wear the head covering called a hijab, and in Jewish culture, the men wear a hat called a yarmulke. And that's his grandson right there. Something from nothing. So uh, the little boy's name is Joseph. When Joseph was a baby, his grandfather made him a wonderful blanket. Oh, wow. It has moons and stars on it. To keep him warm and cozy and to chase away bad dreams. Aw, so there's Joseph when he's a baby. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful blanket grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your blanket. It's frazzled, it's worn, it's unsightly, it's torn. It's time to throw it out. And he's like, but that's my blanket! I don't care if it's torn! Has your mom tried to do that? Take your favorite blankie because it's all dirty and full of holes and she wants to throw it out and you say, No, it's my blankie! Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the blanket and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said as his scissors went snip, snip, snip and his needle flew in and out, in and out, in and out. There's just enough ma material here to make. So look, there's the village. There's Joseph's house. And he's asking his grandpa, he's like, please fix it. And his grandpa said, well, there's just enough material here to make a wonderful jacket. Joseph put on the wonderful jacket and went outside to play. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful jacket grew older too. So everything wears out. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your jacket. It's shrunken and small. It doesn't fit you at all. It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the jacket and turned it round and round. So look, there he is again. Saying, Grandpa, fix it. 
Hmm, he said as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out, in and out, in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful vest. Joseph wore the wonderful vest to school the very next day, but as, as Joseph grew older, the wonderful vest grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your vest. It's spotted with glue and there's paint on it too. It's time to throw it out. Look, he's, look, he's covering it up. He's like, no, don't take it away. Grandpa can fix it, said Joseph. Joseph's grandfather took the vest and turned it round and round. There he is again. And Joseph's getting older and older. I can't believe that blanket material is holding up. Hmm, he says as his scissors went snip, 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 and the needle went in and out, in and out, in and out. There's just enough material here to make. Well, look at this guy over here selling donuts. Oh, I want one. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful tie. Joseph wore the wonderful tie to his grandparents' house every Friday. So there they are having the family meal on Friday. You know how, like, Christians on Sunday we go to church? Jewish, their special day is uh, Saturday, is their special church day where they go, go to the temple. And on Saturday, they can't work and they can't do anything, so they usually have a big dinner on Friday. Joseph grew older. His wonderful tie grew older, too. One day, his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your tie. This big stain of soup makes the end of it droop. It's time to throw it out. Ooh, it does look kind of funky. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the tie and turned it round and round. You know what? It, man, a tie is small. What can he make it from the tie? Like, I don't know. Let's see. Hmm, he says as his scissors went snip, 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 and the needle went in and out, in and out, in and out. There's just enough material here to make... A wonderful handkerchief. So instead of having a tissue, you have a handkerchief. It's a piece of cloth that you use to wipe your nose. You can put it in your pocket. Maybe if your face gets dirty, you can wipe your face. And then you wash it. Joseph used the wonderful handkerchief to keep his pebble collection safe. Oh, his rock collection. Do you have a rock collection? I do. But as Joseph grew older, his wonderful handkerchief grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph! Look at your handkerchief. It's been used till it's tattered, it's splotched, and it's splattered. It's time to throw it out. It's like, but I don't want to. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the handkerchief and turned it round and round. Now, that is a small, small piece of cloth. What is he going to make out of that? Hmm, he said as the scissors went snip, 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 and the needle flew in and out, in and out, in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful button. Joseph wore the wonderful button on his suspenders to hold his pants up. So do you see it? Do you see that big blue button? <coughs> One day his mother said to him, Joseph, where's your button? <gasps> Joseph looked, it was gone. Oh, no, because look, his suspenders flew off, and the button maybe fell down a crack in the sidewalk. It's gone. So what happens now? Can Grandpa fix it? I don't think Grandpa can fix it. He searched everywhere, but he could not find it. Joseph ran down to his grandfather's house. Look. He's like, I lost it. My button, my wonderful button is lost. His mother ran after him. Joseph, listen to me. Button is gone, finished, kaput. Even your grandfather can't make something from nothing. Grandpa's Joseph's grandfather shook his head sadly. I'm afraid that your mother is right, he said. The next day, Joseph went to school. Hmm, he said as his pen went scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch over the paper. Hmm, what's he doing? There's just enough material here to make. A wonderful story. So he did make something from nothing. He wrote a story about his blanket and how 
uh, they made it into a jacket and a vest and a tie and a handkerchief and a button. His family loved it. Yeah. Now here's my second book. You might recognize the illustrations. Remember, there was a very there was an old lady who swallowed a fly. It's the same guy, Sims Tabak. He likes to use drawings and newspaper clippings. This is called Joseph Had a Little Overcoat. So it, it's this, it's Joseph, except in that one, he's a boy, and in this one, he's a grown-up guy. He's a man. Joseph had a little overcoat. It was old and worn. Oh, man, look, he tried to patch it up. That thing is old, old, old. So he made a jacket out of it and went to the fair. Hey, that looks good. Joseph had a little jacket. It got old and worn. Even the cow's like, whoa, looking rough. Maybe you should buy a new jacket. But Joseph made a vest out of it and danced at his nephew's wedding. All right. Joseph had a little vest. It got old and worn. So he made a scarf out of it and sang in the men's chorus. Look at him, he's going, la 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 la. Joseph had a little scarf. It got old and worn. This is like, oh, bro, that scarf's looking really bad. Maybe you should get a new one. But Joseph made a necktie out of it and went to visit his married sister in the city. Joseph had a li little necktie. It got old and worn. Look, he's showing the animals. He's like, look, look at all the stains on it. And it's falling apart. So he made a handkerchief out of it and drank a glass of hot tea with lemon. So he's wearing it around his neck. Joseph had a little handkerchief. It got old and worn. Oh, he's sick. He's using it to wipe his nose. Now it's all yucky. So he made a button out of it and used it, used it to fasten his suspenders. Do you see him sewing the button on? There it is, right there. Joseph had a little button. One day he lost it. Oh, look. He's searching for it. He can't find it. It's gone. Now he had nothing. So Joseph made a book about it, which shows you can always make something out of nothing. He made a story about it. The end. And I guess there's a Jewish song about it, too, called Joseph Had a Little Overcoat. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. Bye.